Hi, I'm Brett Bryan, Professor of Global Change, Environment and Society at Deakin University. When you think about global leaders in sustainability, China is usually not the first country that comes to mind. However, our review of China's 16 major sustainability programs published recently in Nature found the exact opposite. In the past 20 years, the Chinese government has invested over 350 billion US dollars through these programs, addressed over 620 million hectares, and that's 65% of its total land area, and involved more than 500 million people. The sheer scale of China's effort is unrivaled. While it hasn't been perfect, it has achieved remarkable benefits for its rural people and environments. The major program aims were to control erosion and river sedimentation, conserve forests and grasslands, reduce desertification and dust storms, boost agricultural production and food security, and reduce poverty. These programs included measures ranging from payments for planting and managing forests and grasslands, to bans on logging and grazing, and large-scale farm productivity improvements. China's pivot towards sustainability in the late 1990s came as an emergency response to the dire condition of people and nature. China has been farmed for more than 8,000 years, but by the mid-1900s, its rural environment was in bad shape. People were poor and hunger was common. Failures in governance, combined with floods and droughts, led to catastrophes such as the Great Famine of China from 1959 to 61, which caused between 20 and 45 million deaths. By the 1990s, China's natural forest cover had dropped below 9%. Around 5 billion tonnes of soil eroded annually, causing major water quality and river sediment problems. Farmland soils were exhausted and productivity was down. Grasslands were overgrazed and more than one quarter of China was turning into desert. In the late 1990s, China was hit by a series of natural disasters, including the 1997 Yellow River drought, the 1998 Yangtze River floods, and dust storms blanketing Beijing in 2000. These calamities were widely believed to be caused by unsustainable land management. In response, China launched 10 new programs on top of the six established after the 1978 economic reforms and really ramped up investment into these programs. The portfolio included the iconic Grain for Green program and the Three North Shelterbelt program, which aimed to slow and reverse desertification by planting a 4,500 kilometre long Great Green Wall along the southern edge of the Gobi Desert. The impacts have been overwhelmingly positive. Forest cover now exceeds 22%. Grasslands have expanded and regenerated. Soil erosion and river sedimentation have decreased substantially. The Yellow River sediment load, for example, has fallen by 90%. Agricultural productivity has grown at around 5% per annum. Hunger has largely disappeared from rural China, and millions have been lifted out of poverty. But despite this progress, there have also been significant downsides. Afforestation has dried up water resources. Intensifying agriculture has polluted water bodies. Relocating communities has caused social disruption and a focus on planting natural forests instead of tree crops would have been much better for biodiversity. While the context of China's path to sustainability is unique, other countries can learn from its experience. Nations must consider sustainability as a long-term, large-scale public investment like education, health, defence and infrastructure. Sustainability solutions must address key leverage points like breaking the feedback loop between poverty and environmental degradation. Integrated approaches that address multiple aspects of sustainability are needed to minimise trade-offs. Programs must be evidence-based, coordinated, and adapt to new information as it becomes available. And decisive action may be required, but there needs to be a social and economic safety net for those affected. China is by no means a sustainability poster child. Indeed, very serious issues persist, including the pollution of its air, water and soils, urban sprawl and illegal wildlife trade. But to give credit where credit is due, China's vast investment has made great strides towards achieving multiple sustainable development goals. As China pursues President Xi Jinping's Chinese dream for an ecological civilization and a beautiful China, great care needs to be made not to simply shift its impact offshore. Instead, the opportunity is open for China to become a global leader in sustainability 
helping other nations progress towards our shared global sustainable development goals.